Thousands march in Tokyo to protest Myanmar coup, biggest Japan demonstration so far. Here's a summary of the article. Two-minute read, Tokyo. Thousands of mostly silent demonstrators paraded through central Tokyo on Sunday in protest against the coup in Myanmar, many carrying photos of detained leader Aung San Suu Kyi and what organizers said was the largest such march in Japan to date. The march came as tens of thousands took to the streets of Myanmar on Sunday in a ninth straight day of protests. Several demonstrations have been held in Japan since the February 1 coup, mainly by Myanmar residents of Japan. While other countries also considering measures, Japan and some other Asian nations are unlikely to cut ties given Myanmar's strategic importance in the region. It is very heart-rending, said Thant Zha Htun, 45, originally from Yangon and now an employee at a recruitment agency, referring to the protests in Myanmar. As a Myanmar national, I absolutely cannot accept the military's coup in Myanmar, said Thuy Thuy Tun, 27, who works at a construction company. I think all Myanmar people in Japan have the same opinion. This post received a score of 58,000, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Politically active people in Japan protest against something in a foreign country. Reddit, why are Japanese protesting about a foreign issue while ignoring their own problems? Maybe. Maybe those Japanese in this march are active on other domestic issues like below? Like, do you actually believe that average apolitical Japanese suddenly woke up and joined the march? Japan, students protest against Shinzo Abe and militarization laws in Tokyo? It's the old, you can only care about one thing per eon, fallacy. Is this a form of whataboutism? Not really, it's almost a form of activism gatekeeping. Like, you can't participate until you fix everything in your country. Whataboutism is more of a deflective argument, I don't think most of the Redditors are supporting Myanmar. But if you frame it like, you're protesting for Myanmar, but what about your country's issues? Then what? Yeah, it's definitely close to whataboutism as in both instances people are talking about hypocrisy. I wasn't trying to highlight the phrasing so much as the intent. With whataboutism it's one party trying to excuse their actions by pointing to the other party's misdeeds. That's not what's happening here. Like if you criticize China's treatment of UIs and they say, what about the US treatment of immigrants? Ah okay I see your point. Protest about military dictatorship in Myanmar. All the comments shitting on Japan. Reddit is weird with Japan. Reddit is weird with a lot of countries edit. Thank you to everyone whose pointless arguments are giving my phone notifications. No I've never seen Reddit weird over Luxembourg. Fuck Luxembourg. All my homies hate Luxembourg. Luxembourg sucks. Suxembourg. Fuxembourg. Shixembag. Man. Reddit is weird with Luxembourg. The military has ordered internet service providers to cut off internet from 1 a.m. to 9 a.m. tonight. The military has been occasionally cutting off and limiting our access to internet throughout the past two weeks. We just f king pray to God that they don't cut off our electricity too but they've already infiltrated the electricity box in one of our towns, they might cut it off but their HASNT been significant rumors about electricity itself being shut down. Update 2, seems like they turned off the internet last night to install firewalls on ISPs to more closely monitor our internet activities. Holy FK that's scary. Yes, it was literally like the Purge movie even yesterday. I have no idea what else is GNA transpire tonight. People crapping on Japan like the people protesting are the ones making the laws. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.